So it's sad to say that one of the most blessed movies that was supposed to come out this year. What's up everybody? This is JRK. Praise Yahweh. Y'all can call me JR, y'all can call me K, y'all can just call me JRK, whatever. But um today is a beautiful day. Um there's this movie called The Domino Revival. It's a one night only premiere. But um anyways, I'm gonna be watching this movie and while I'm here, I'm gonna be evangelizing, I'm gonna be praying for people. And I'm just gonna interview people, see what happens. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and that, you know, you guys get touched by it and that, yeah. But in Jesus' name, we're gonna minister, talk and evangelize to people. And I'm so sorry that there's music playing, it's so loud. But um, anyways, see y'all in a bit. All right, so I wanted to ask you two, um, what do you guys think the purpose of life is? Uh, I, I think the purpose of life is to like inspire and have an influence on other people and you know just kind of make the world a better place. I love that answer. You? Find your purpose and share it. Amen. I like your guys' answers. Those are actually some of the best answers I got. So um, a little fact about me is I go around, I ask people because I'm a super spiritual person. I love to ask people like, oh, you know, do they believe in like religion or if they believe in spiritual realms or if they believe in like higher power stuff like that. Yeah. So would you guys say that you would believe in a higher power like do, God? Yes. Yeah. Oh, amen. You, sir? Yeah. Yeah, in a certain way. Yeah. Amen. You guys believe in Jesus Christ as God? I do. Yep. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise not that. Not personally, but that's not you. Just, uh, it's just how I was raised. I'm not, not sure. So. Understandable. Yeah. Is there like, um, was it ever like forced upon on you? Like, you know, family, they tried to like, you know, tell you if you yeah. don't do this and that, you gotta. No, it was never forced like that. It was always like, if you want to, you can. I just never found the same meaning that a lot of people did. Exactly. Understandable. Well, you guys had really good answers. I just want to tell you guys that Jesus Christ loves you both and that he's the way, the truth, and the life. Because in John 14, verse 6, he's the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but before me. And I just want to let y'all know that he died on the cross for you guys so that you could avoid hell. And that, you know, he doesn't want y'all to go to hell. I, it's sad to say I've actually been to hell one time and it wasn't good. And I, I like to tell people, you know, it sucks, but it's real. But it's have to know that it's avoidable. Because it's definitely not a good place to go. Yep. But I just wanted to tell you two that. And that it's definitely not an irony or coincidence that we met. Because yeah. I do believe everything happens for a reason. You know, you seeing me, that was definitely... I felt like that was God talking to me. Unless I may be crazy, but, you know? <laughs> no, you're not. But, awesome, what's your name? Seth. Nice to meet you. Oh, it says it there. Yeah. Nice name. Yeah, what's your name, sir? I'm Sander. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, you both have a blessed afternoon. You guys take well. care. God bless. Of course. Thank you. So, if I didn't clarify, I'm at Shields right now. And I'm just searching around. I see a huge group of people, so... We're most likely gonna go evangelize to that group. Just preach. I'm just looking around, looking at the guns and all that. If I may have everybody's attention, I just wanted to tell y'all before I leave this building that Jesus Christ is real and that he is the way, the truth, and the life. It says in John 14, verse 6, that he is the way, the truth, and the life, and no one coming to the Father but before me. I come and tell you guys that the wars that are going on in Israel and Palestine is a gigantic sign that Jesus Christ is coming soon. It says it in Matthew tw verse 24 that you will hear rumors of wars. Nations will rise against nation. And I come to sound the alarm that he is coming soon and that you do not want to regret not making this decision because if you were to die today where would you go jesus is the only way to heaven and i highly encourage y'all for so y'all not go to hell because hell is not the place to go i just wanted to tell y'all that that place can be avoided and that you can make it to heaven in jesus name because there are too many souls going to hell and i i would be a bad neighbor if i let you guys go to hell but i want all you guys to go to heaven there's a way that hell can be avoided and Jesus loves you all. Please repent and please follow him before it is too late because you're gonna regret not following him. Because in hell, there is no peace, there is no love, there is no purpose, but in heaven, eternal love with the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and all that. Please believe in him before it is too late because he is coming soon and he is calling us to repent. Please believe in him before it's too late. I love you all so much that I couldn't just leave without telling y'all this. God bless and may you all find Jesus before it's too late. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I was a little nervous doing that, but oh, man, I gotta take the stairs now. They shut down the escalator, so now I gotta be ghetto and take the stairs, but whatever. Anyways, that was that. Um, now I'm pretty sure I'm just I'm just gonna go outside find something to eat because like I don't I haven't ate anything all day. I mean, not that that was relevant, but 
I just want to tell y'all, Jesus Christ loves you guys. And that he's really choosing life. He loves you all. He died on the cross for you so that you can have everlasting life. Amen. I just wanted to tell y'all, Jesus Christ loves you guys so much and that he's the way, the truth, and life. Please repent and be, believe in the gospel before it's too late. But I just, I just, the Lord put it in my heart to give you guys a word and I don't want you guys to go into hell because unfortunately I've been there before and it was not a cool place and that he died for you guys so that you could be able to make it to heaven and please avoid hell at all costs because in hell there is no peace, there is no purpose, but in heaven there's there's a bunch of peace, a bunch of purpose, and you get to be with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the angels in heaven, and that you'll be living your best life. This, what we're living in, is temporary, but in heaven is our real home. We're not destined to go there, but with Jesus Christ, because he died on the cross for you both, you guys are able to go there. But I just didn't want to leave without telling you guys this, because I feel like I would be a bad neighbor if I didn't let you guys know the love of Jesus Christ and what he's done for you too. But amen. God bless you both. You both have a blessed night. And you too. Thank you. There's not much out. I mean, there's not much people out today. I didn't even say that right. But um, we're there's still people here, just not a lot. So like, you know, let's just walk around. See, what, I, I got until seven o'clock, so I'm big chilling. You know, nonetheless. Oh, that's some nice art. Are you a drawer? Artist, yeah. I mean, we all draw. Oh, that's so cool to see. I draw most of the cute stuff though. Nice. I like that. Is Thank that you. Friends, yeah. no worries but i just want to tell you guys that before i leave that jesus christ is real and that he loves you both so much that he's the way the truth and the life it says in john 14 verse 6 that no one comes to the father before me and i just didn't want to leave without telling you guys this because i'm very you know i have a relationship with god and i don't want y'all to go to hell i want y'all to go to heaven you know hell there's just so much terrible things but in heaven there's beautiful everything and the lord just put in my heart to minister to you too that he loves you both and that he's your only way to heaven and that hell is avoidable. But you both have a blessed night. God bless and take care. God bless. Thank you. Appreciate it. Excuse me, sir. Where did you get that? Uh, you said the the um, shields? Yes. Oh, that's what's up. Thank you. Just want to tell you that Jesus Christ loves you and that he's the way, the truth, and the life. I better believe the gospel and he died on the cross for you so that you could have everlasting life. God bless. Love you. You're welcome. It's hard to find people who wants to like do interviews, but you know, it is what it is. I mean, let me go in this room. Why not? Hello, how's it going? Um, no, I was just wondering, um, oh, actually, never mind. There's a pamphlet, sorry. I was about to ask y'all what you have here, but. These four are the ones we have here. These are the four that I went for everybody. Oh, nice. If I, I'm not making a booking right now, but if I was to make a booking, which one would you highly recommend? Uh, I'm the new guy here, so I can. New guy? Understandable. Cool. Thank you for your time. But if you don't mind me asking, um, I'm just curious because I like to ask people this kind of stuff. Um, do you believe that there's a purpose to life? Yes, but it's something that you gotta find out. Something you gotta find out. Do you and believe? Well, not necessarily find out, but it'll come to you when it does. Yeah. Do you believe in like a higher power or like you believe in God or uh, like spiritual? Not things? God per se, but I do believe in a higher power. Um, mm -hmm. I just don't believe in God because there's not enough evidence per se mm -hmm. um there's too much violence in the world that if god was real i personally would believe that he just abandoned us that's fair my um what you call it i believe um the reason why like he doesn't allow it to happen but the thing is is that like he gives people free will and you know he doesn't want to intervene with people's life because if he was to control us we'd hate him but because he lets people do what they want to do that's really man's fault, you know? He didn't, you know, I do I do see what you're saying, like he would stop it, but sometimes it's really man's fault. Like, no, ultimately, no, I mean, you know. I, I, I've completely accepted the fact that human is a valid yeah. species. It's sad to say that humans, yeah, we, we're like, are like one of the worst creations we were, ever. Yeah, we're like, we're supposed to be his perfect creation, his best creation. And, and then Eve messed it all up. And we're just failures now, so it's like. Now it's like, we gotta, you know, avoid heaven or hell. We gotta, you know, live life, so on. I'm but, not um, like much of a, I'm not gonna say like I don't believe in him. I, I'm kind of like in the middle. In the middle? Just cause like, you know, you've had your own experiences. Yeah. Have you ever had like any hateful Christians or like hateful religious people towards you? Yeah. I'm so sorry that happened. It is what it is. You know, I'm just like, I, I, I to an extent understand. I've had people bash me, you know, like, oh, you know, cause I actually used to be a homosexual and they would be like, you're gonna go to hell. You're, you know, you're F word, you're this and that. And it's like, I thought the Jesus y'all follow was loving. Yeah. And then you're being here like, 
Christians you know, are by far some of the biggest hypocrites I've ever seen. They are, to an extent. Like, yeah. it's not cool at all. But um, I just wanted to tell you that Jesus loves you and that he's the way, the truth, and the life. And that, you know, hell is avoidable. And I know that, I know we just talked, but I want to let you know that everything happens for a reason. Not bad things, but that, you know, he loves you and he died on the cross for you so that you can live. And I'm sorry that you've had those experiences. And I pray that you don't get those experiences again. And that, you know, that from this point on, you know, the seed was planted in you. And that there are people who treat you better because there are some Christians out there that are very evil. But I just want to let you know that he loves you and that hell is avoidable and that, you know, I'm not a hateful Christian and that, you know, I promote love and I don't think, you know, spreading hate is a good way to show people our faith kind of thing, you know? So. Oh, wow. That's so cool. But definitely. I'm going to keep this. That's fine. This one was a nice smell. So tropical. Okay, perfect. Um, cool. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'm Junior. I'm Nikki. Nice to meet you. Thank you for your time. God bless. I just want to tell you that before I leave, Jesus Christ loves you. John 14, verse 6 says, He's the way, the truth, and the life. If you ever need peace, healing, deliverance, all of that, He's got you. And I just, I don't want to leave without telling you this because I'm very, you know, I have a relationship with God. And I just couldn't let the word not get spread. And I still wanted to tell you that He loves you regardless. And that I, I promise you, I'm not a hateful Christian, but <laughs> He loves you. And that He died on the cross for you so that you can avoid hell. And I don't want you going to hell. Hell is avoidable, but because of Him, you get to go to heaven. And it's just, it's a good news because you don't have to go to hell. Just accept him and you make it there. You know, <laughs> you'll get to see certain family members in heaven and hell. Oh no. I don't want, I don't want you to be in hell with the enemy because the enemy, he does not love you. Satan, he does not love you. These demons, they don't, they come and attack you and you're going to be in hell with them. I don't want that for you. In heaven, you're going to be with the father, the son, the Holy Spirit, and the angels, all that. And certain family members too. But God bless you. Have a blessed night. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Bye. Okay, right now I'm in Spencer's. You know, we all know that's a demonic store. We're gonna buy some witchcraft items and see what's up. Hello. Um, I was just wondering, do you guys have any witchcraft items? Like tarot cards, Ouija boards and stuff like that? Um, we do have uh, mostly Ouija boards, but if you do buy one, we do not take them back. Oh, of course, I understand that. Yeah, because you definitely don't want that curse, so, right? Literally only our store. We're supposed to. So really? On the other side of this wall, there's gonna be Ouija boards, but then I mean, I understand, cause like, yeah. don't bring that curse here. Keep your For real, keep that. Don't bring it in my house. So, spoiler alert. Um, they didn't like the fact that I ministered to them. One of the girls, I think a demon manifested, and she sighed. She was not happy about me telling her about Jesus. She was like, "Oh, you're pitching your religion on me," and I'm like, "I'm just telling you the good news about Jesus Christ." But you best believe when I came in asking about the witchcraft, they're like, "Hey, yo, let's what's up? Let's let's party, blah blah blah." And so basically, they told me that I cannot record, but they were okay with me recording about the witchcraft. But when it came about ministering about God, they didn't like that. So, anyways, they're just telling me go to this crystal shop. This is a good tarot deck. Go do this and that, and it's good, and it gives me peace and healing. And I was like, oh, okay. Not particularly, but you know, everyone's got their thing. Yeah, the whole like chakras, healing, crystals, tarot decks, Ouija boards, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Incense, rituals, cults. Yeah. What if I told you I'm actually a Christian and I'm undercover and I'm actually trying to minister to her? Oh, really? Yeah. I actually know a lot about witchcraft, but. I'm oh. gonna try like minister to her, let her know that Jesus is real and that He loves her. Would you believe you? Would would you? I'm sorry. Would you believe it if I told you that? Yes, actually. Amen. Yeah, I just want to tell you that Jesus loves you and that He's the way, the truth, and the life. And that you know, it says in John 14 verse six, He's the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father before Him. And I just want you to avoid hell because I've been to hell before. It. <sighs> I don't want anybody going there. I don't care if it offends people, but I tell people, please do not go there. He died for you for a reason so that you can make it to heaven. And it's one of the easiest, most free gifts ever. Right. And I don't, I definitely don't want you going there because every demon that has ever attacked you, you're going to be there with them. And I don't want that for you. I want you to be in heaven prospering with Jesus, Yeshua, Yahweh, and with the angels from heaven and with certain family members, you know, but um, I just wanted to minister to that to you and hopefully she comes back so I can tell her, the, uh, you know, stuff. But I like your sweater. Love it, man. Thank you. Ah, uh, that's what's up. Nice. You have a good day, too. God bless. Nice to meet you. I'm Junior. God bless you. Nice. So I went to go evangelize at Spencer's, and then the lady was just telling me about how, oh, yeah, well, you know, crystals and all that are from God, and that I was pushing religion on them, and that they told me I couldn't record because, like, I was recording minors or whatever, and blah, blah, blah. So nonetheless, I'm about to head into the theater right now. I'm about to go watch Domino Arrival. It's the time. But I believe I ministered to enough people that I could. 
but yeah she just told me okay yeah well you know you can't record and that you got to delete it and that i was pushing religion and like i was saying you know um what you call it um i forgot what she said but i just did what i did and i just told her that jesus loves them all and that he's real and that he's always the truth in life and um yeah like i said some uh crystal questions she told me about a fact or whatever lastly it shouldn't take for me to tell you all this but Ifa, voodoo, santaria, la regla de ocha, witchcraft, wicca, all that is not the way, the truth in life. Do not do witchcraft. Witchcraft is going to open up demonic doors in your life. It's going to bring you more anxiety, depression, bipolarness. It's going to bring you all these evil demonic things that you opened up yourself to. But I, I'm going to tell you right now, Jesus can free you from that. And Jesus is the way, the truth in life. If you're hurt or you need a purpose, go through Jesus because he's the only way. And yeah. Obviously, I don't condone with this. I repeat it in Jesus' name. Okay, right now, I'm heading over to room screen 7 at Galaxy IMAX Legends to watch the Domino Revival. Um, yeah, I think I have to up you guys, update you guys on the movie after this, and then on top of that, the whole Spencer's incident. But, yeah, that's what's happening right now. So excited to watch this movie, and I'm just excited for what's about to happen. Jesus Christ is King. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Him. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys know what's up oh i'm like two minutes late but god bless i'm so sorry i lost my train of thought my thing is i don't get how there are witches warlocks and sorcerers and people who work with satan that are more on fire for the kingdom of darkness than they are for god like why is it that most people who work with satan are more on fire than most christians you know like, I know that's not a message everybody wants to hear, but it's the truth. Like, you know, I know people who are in New Age, people who are in, you know, sorcery, they're so on fire for the devil. Yeah. But when it comes to God, it's like, oh, you know, let's give him 90 minutes on Sunday yeah. and then rest of the week work with the devil and then live in sin. It's like, doesn't make sense, yeah. you know? But I mean, for me, I think it as if the, the workers for the kingdom of darkness can be on fire for Satan, then we should be just as fire for God, but even better Good because man. Satan's definitely working all the time. You want to say that for my vlog or? Yo, what's up? You already know what time it is. It's Jesus 25 a.m. Amen. Not 24 7. Fear. We walk in love. Hallelujah. Amen. You better say it. Yeah, we are. Um, we finally in the room. We're waiting for the movie to start for the Domino Revival. And he came an hour or two away just to watch this movie. Amen. The God's moving. God's working. All Thanks, that. John. If I may have everybody's attention, hallelujah, we woke up for another day, blessed and highly flavored. I just want to tell y'all that if y'all want to pray together after this movie's over, if y'all want a healing or a deliverance or we need like a prayer, I'm more than happy to pray for you guys and that if you all want to pray collectively, we can do that. It's just, God is just so good. He's just so great. I'm blessed that we woke up this morning for another day that we're alive and that this movie's coming out and that it's about to start but it's just a blessing that we're all here and that we're about to see the move of God. Huh? Yeah, we can do that. Hold on, sorry. It says in the word that men can't have their head covers when they pray, so let's just do it. Um, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, say it, amen. Amen. Preach it, Father. Preach it. Amen. In our sword of the spirit, Corinthians, Second Corinthians 10, 4, Father, that your word come through and demolish all strongholds. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ, Father, for you said in your word, is not your word like a consuming fire. Are you not like a consuming fire? Well, right now, the movie's like not turning on right now it's um 7 20 something the movie was supposed to start at seven but with that being said um we did a beautiful on on fire prayer we started off with prayer right now we're just waiting for the movie to start and um yeah i was just telling them about skyline church reno nevada if you're from reno sparks whatever in nevada i'm skyline church um at reno sparks convention center it was definitely a blessed movement for us to be here and everyone they don't mind Anyways. Okay, so well, bad news. Um the movie can't play. They said that they got the wrong server. I see that in quotes. They got the wrong server for the movie. And so yeah, now we can't watch the movie. You know, people took the time out of their day, you know, to come over here. People drove from Lake Tahoe and different cities to come watch this and now we can't watch it. 
Now, if this is attack from the enemy, I rebuke it and bind it and break it in Jesus' name. But we have the option to do a refund. We have, um, yeah, um, we'll see what happens. I just hope that this movie comes back out again because this was, I was really looking forward to this. But, um, what'd you call it? You want to be in the vlog or? Yeah. You want to introduce yourself? Jesus, I'm Dana Lee. Though the enemy might have his, uh, his tactics and his cunning ways. We have the power of Jesus. Amen. And there is power in the name, the name above every other name, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. You better say the host it. of hosts, you most say of it. most. And it doesn't matter what he thinks he's doing because God works everything that the enemy thought he was doing for our good. Amen. You better say it. In Jesus' so, name. Um, I'm going to put it in the video, but I saw um, she was praying with me at the um in the middle of the movie well when we thought the movie was going to start but anyways she was just an on fire woman the prayer was just beautiful amazing the worship she is truly a woman of god yes. i see the anointing on her and it was just a blessing seeing her and all the people that we met now yes. we weren't able to see the movie of course but i did meet these amazing blessed people that i met god a lot of people all the time all the time god every, is good every, every time you're in the will of god every appointment is divine so there Amen. was a reason that we came there's a reason why the movie didn't start but you know what that reason Amen. we might not understand but his ways are better than our ways amen everything happens for a reason whether we like it or not amen. so now that we have there god bless you guys have a blessed night take care god bless. god bless bye thank you so yeah there's that but anyways um we'll see in the name of jesus there is power I just want to say before I leave this building that Jesus Christ is real and that he loves you all and that in John 14 verse 6 it says he is the way, the truth, and the life. I'm just telling you right now it is not an irony or coincidence that you all woke up this morning. You are all alive and woke up for a reason. God is not done with you. If he was done with you, he would have taken you already, but he let you guys live so that you could fulfill your purpose for him and him only. I'm just going to tell you right now, people are turning to new age, witchcraft, Wicca, they're turning to la Ocha, voodoo, ifa, santaria, all that for their peace and healing, but you're not going to find it through them. You're only going to find it through jesus christ and jesus christ only and that he died on the cross for you so you all could live and have everlasting life in heaven you all our default location is hell but through jesus christ we get to make it to heaven and heaven only and i don't want none of you guys going to hell i want every single one of you guys to go to heaven because heaven has lots of riches and peace and healing for you and not hell please believe and Amen. repent in the gospel before yeah. it is too late jesus loves you all what's up i'm done i do have to ask you to leave the, the amen i will god bless love you all Except Jesus Christ before it's too late. You're welcome. Um, I just got kicked out. Oh well, I don't care. But um, we saved souls in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, now I just don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna go home. I hope you've all had a blessed time watching this. I just pray that this touched y'all and that you know you guys are here. But anyways. Amen. Love you all. God bless. And if you're new to the ministry, find Jesus before it is too late. Amen.